my lovely children. I welcome you all to basic two. I'm going to be your facilitator for mathematics in basic two. And my name is Miss Irene Buama. For our first lesson in basic two, we are going to talk about numbers. Numbers. And the numbers, we are going to count, represent, and also show cardinality in numbers. So by the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify numbers from 1 to 20 using loose strokes and bundles of 10. You should also be able to count numbers or count in bundles of 10 up to at least 100. You should also represent bundles in the appropriate place value. You represent bundles of numbers into the appropriate place value and also write the number name. Good. Before we start with today's lesson, there are certain keywords you should be able to understand. So our first keyword for today is bundle. Bundle. Let's all spell bundle. B U N D L E. Bundle. What does it mean? Bundle is a group of things fastened together or put together as one. You're also going to meet the word numerals. Numerals. Numerals is a symbol that represents a number or a digit. You also take a look at place value. Place value. The value of the place of a digit in a numeral. The value of a place of a digit in a numeral or in a numeral. Good. In basic one, you learned how to count numbers from one to twenty. Let's all try and count. One, two, three, four, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. I hope you counted with me. Very good. Now, if you need to represent these numbers by using loose strokes and bundles, how are you going to do that? How do you write one? This is the numeral one. Now let's try and represent this number using a loose stroke. I have a straw in my hand. I have another one here. How many of this can I use to represent the number one? Good, I'll use just one single one of this. This is a loose straw. It is one. Good. What about the number two? How many loose stro straws will I use to represent two? you are going to tell me two straws one two they are not together they are loose separated so I'm going to make two loose straws on the board representing the number two or the numeral two what about three 
I'm going to have three loose straws. One, two, three. Then number four. One, two, three, four. Five. One loose straw, two loose straw, three loose straw, four loose straw, five loose straw. So I have five loose straws here representing the number five. Six. How many? Good. You are going to have six loose straws. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Seven loose straws. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. How many of these loose straws? Straws, sorry. Can I use to represent the number ten? Ten of these loose straws. But I mentioned a word bundle when I was printing my keywords. So whenever loose straws come together, ten loose straws come together, and and it's supposed to be counted as one. We call it a bundle. A bundle. This is an example of a bundle. Hope you can see it. Let's try and count the number of loose straws we have in this bundle. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10 loose straws will give you one bundle representing the number 10. Ten. I'm going to use something to tie it together. So when I do this, it means the loose straws are in bundle. Very good. So you have represented your numerals from 1 to 10 using loose straws and bundles. Now, when you move from 10, what number follows 10? 11. How will you represent 11? We have 10 with a bundle. So 11 will be one bundle with a loose straw. So I'm going to have something like this. A bundle and a loose straw. So the moment you see this in your book or on a board, you know the number. So what number is this? 11. Very good. Okay, children. Representing the number 12. How many bundles and how many loose straws would you have? You are going to have one bundle with two loose straws. Thirteen will be one bundle with three loose straws. Fourteen, one bundle, four loose straws. Fifteen, one bundle, five loose straws. Sixteen, one bundle. Six loose straw, 17, one bundle, seven loose straws, 18, one bundle, eight loose straws, 19, one bundle, nine loose straws, 20, one bundle. You're not going to have 10 loose straws again, but you're going to have another bundle. So you're going to have two bundles, making 20. Good. 
we are going to represent our numbers with bundles from 10 to 100. We are going to count in tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So if I need 10, the number 10. On this side, this column of the table, how many bundles will I have? One bundle. Remember, I said a bundle is made up of how many loose straws? 10 loose straws. Four, five, six, eight, ten. I have my bundle. Number in tens. What is the place value? One, ten. What is the numeral? Remember we said numeral is a what? A symbol representing a number. So it is the number 10. Then what is the number name? How do we spell 10? T-E-N, 10. Okay. From 10 where do you go to when you're counting in tens? From 10 where do you go to? 20. So how many bundles will I have here? Two bundles. Let's go. One bundle. Two bundles. So how many tens do I have here? Two tens. What is the numeral? Twenty. The number name. How do you spell twenty? T W E N T Y. Twenty. From twenty, counting in tens, you go to thirty. How many bundles will I have here? Three. Two bundles. Three bundles. Number in ten. Three. Ten. Sorry, it's supposed to. This one is one ten. To no s. Two tens. Three tens. What is the numeral? 30. What is the number name? How do we spell it? 30. 30. T H I R T Y. 30. Let's move on to the next number. Counting in tens from 30 where you go to 40. How many bundles? Four bundles. So I have four bundles here. What is the number in ten? Three tens. Sorry, four tens. Four tens. The numeral itself, 40. What is the number name? How do you write it? 40. F O R T Y. Good. How do we spell four? Four is F O U R. But when you are spelling 40, we don't bring the U, we omit the U. That is why we have this. F O R T Y. From 40, we go to 50. How many bundles will I have here? Five bundles. Let's go. How many numbers are in tens? How many? Five. Tens. The numeral, 50. And the number name, how do you spell 50? F I F T Y. 50. Okay, children. I've ended at the number 50. Pick 
your daughters. Copy the table I have on the board. Try and complete it till you get to 100. So from 50, what would you go to? 60. So you are going to have six bundles. 60, 70, how many bundles? Seven bundles. From 70, 80, how many bundles? Eight bundles. 90, nine bundles. Then 100, how many? 10 bundles. So 10 bundles will give you 100. And how do we spell 100? 100. H U N D R E D. 100. Okay, children, what have you learned today? Today we talked about numbers. And we tried to represent numerals or numbers from 1 to 20 using bundles and loose straws. We also drew the table and represented numbers in tens using bundles. Hope you can spell the number names very well. Try practicing that so you can be perfect in it. I'll see you another time. Until then, bye-bye.